Ever wondered why you're not shedding pounds despite intermittent fasting? Well, you're certainly not alone. Intermittent fasting has become a buzzword in the world of health and wellness, drawing in hordes of fitness enthusiasts and health-conscious individuals. It's a dietary practice where you cycle between periods of eating and fasting, and it's lauded for its potential benefits, from weight loss to improved metabolic health. But here's the intriguing part. Some people find themselves gaining weight instead of losing it, even when they're following an intermittent fasting regime. It's a puzzling phenomenon that goes against the grain of what we've come to expect from this popular dietary approach. But fear not, science has some answers for us. Over the course of this video, we'll unpack the science behind this seemingly paradoxical situation. We'll delve into the most common mistakes made during intermittent fasting, mistakes that could potentially lead to weight gain instead of weight loss. So, buckle up and get ready to debunk some myths. Let's dive into the science behind the worst intermittent fasting mistakes that cause weight gain. The first major mistake is overeating during the eating windows. So what are these eating windows? In the realm of intermittent fasting, eating windows are the specific periods of the day when you're allowed to consume food. These windows can vary from 8 hours to 4, depending on your chosen fasting plan. Now here's where many trip up. It's a common misconception that you can eat as much as you want during these windows because you're fasting for the rest of the day. Unfortunately, this is not how it works. Overeating during your eating windows can lead to weight gain, despite your fasting efforts. Let's dive into the science behind it. Research from the Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry shows that overeating, regardless of the fasting period, can lead to an increase in insulin levels. This rise prompts your body to store excess glucose as fat, which can result in weight gain. It's not just about when you eat, but also how much and what you eat. This is where the concept of calorie counting comes into play. While it's not necessary to obsess over every single calorie, being aware of your intake versus your expenditure is crucial. Consuming nutrient-dense foods in moderate portions will provide your body with the nourishment it needs without leading to overconsumption. Remember, balance is crucial in any dietary approach. So, being mindful of your portions during eating windows is key to successful intermittent fasting. Another common pitfall is consuming high caloric drinks during fasting periods. Now you might be thinking, it's just a drink, how bad could it be? Well, let's dive into the science and see. There's a prevalent misconception that drinks don't count during fasting periods. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. Research shows that consuming high caloric drinks can indeed lead to weight gain and disrupt the benefits of fasting. Here's why. When you consume a high caloric drink, your body has to process those calories. This kicks your metabolism into gear, effectively breaking your fast. Moreover, many high caloric drinks such as sodas or sweetened coffees are loaded with sugars. These sugars cause a spike in your insulin levels, which not only interrupts your fast, but can also lead to weight gain over time. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition in 2020 shows that people who regularly consume high caloric drinks tend to have higher body mass indexes than those who don't. And it's not just about weight gain. These drinks can also increase your risk of developing chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease. The takeaway here is simple if you're fasting stick to water unsweetened tea or black coffee. These drinks won't disrupt your fast and will keep you hydrated. Remember it's not just about solid foods, what you drink can also significantly impact your intermittent fasting results. The third critical mistake is a lack of consistency in following the fasting schedule. Let's dive in. Picture this. You're doing great on your intermittent fasting schedule for a week, but then life happens. A late night dinner here, an early breakfast there and suddenly, you've strayed from your routine. Sounds familiar doesn't it? Now let's talk science. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that inconsistency in meal timing can disrupt our body's internal clock, leading to weight gain. Here's why, your body thrives on regularity. It's accustomed to a rhythm, a pattern. When you eat, your body knows it's time to burn those calories. When you fast, it switches gears and starts burning stored fat. But if your eating and fasting windows are constantly changing, your body gets confused. It doesn't know when it's supposed to burn calories and when it's supposed to burn fat. The result? Instead of shedding those extra pounds, you might actually gain weight. So, how do you keep this from happening? The answer is simple. Consistency. Stick to your fasting schedule as closely as possible. Sure, life will throw curveballs, but the more consistent you are, the better your body can adjust and keep your metabolism firing on all cylinders. Remember, intermittent fasting isn't a quick fix, it's a lifestyle change. 
And like any lifestyle change, it requires commitment and consistency to see results. Consistency, as in many aspects of life, is key when it comes to intermittent fasting. So, what's the takeaway from all this? Let's circle back and revisit the three main blunders that can transform intermittent fasting from a weight loss ally into an adversary. The first pitfall lies in overeating during eating windows. Remember, intermittent fasting isn't an all-access pass to the buffet table. It's about fostering a healthier relationship with food and tuning into your body's natural hunger cues. Overindulgence during feeding windows can negate the benefits of your fasting period leading to weight gain instead of the desired weight loss. Next, we have the trap of consuming high caloric drinks during fasting periods. Not all liquids are created equal when it comes to fasting. While water, black coffee and unsweetened tea can keep you hydrated without breaking your fast, beverages loaded with sugars and artificial sweeteners can spike your insulin levels, effectively ending your fast prematurely and sabotaging your weight loss efforts. Finally, the importance of consistency cannot be overstated. Like any other diet or fitness regimen, intermittent fasting requires commitment and regularity. A sporadic fasting schedule can leave your body confused and your metabolism in disarray, undermining your weight loss goals. Remember, intermittent fasting is not a magic bullet. It's a tool that needs to be used correctly to yield results. With these insights, you're now better equipped to avoid the common pitfalls and make the most of your intermittent fasting journey.